Hey, Vikes. Um, I'm Rebecca Dominey, the journalism advisor for Brian High Norseman, and I'm here today with senior Alex Vasalakis. And Alex, um, I know you play a lot of soccer. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how the soccer team is looking this year? Yeah, sure. So I'm, I've been playing soccer for all four years here at Brian High, and I've been on the varsity team for three of those four years, and I'm currently the one of the two captains of the Brian High soccer team. So this year we are looking very, very good. We, um, we were fortunate to only lose two of our seniors from last year, so that means nine of our former starters are coming back again, meaning they have a lot more experience, and we're actually able to to compete with a lot of these, you know, we're a, we're like a small 6A school and we play against a lot of these very large 6A schools which have a lot of talented players, but this year especially more than ever I think we're going to be able to really really compete with them and really play at their level and maybe even win our district. Uh when does y'all's district start? Do you know? I believe our district starts in 2 weeks. I know we have one bye week after this weekend and then I think we get into games almost immediately. Okay. What do you what what drives your passion for soccer? Well, for one, the game itself is just really, really fun. I enjoy it. I've been doing it for pretty much as long as I could walk. But also the the whole kind of community and culture that surrounds it. I love all the guys who play, who I play with. So it's just hanging out with them and doing something I love is just really, really fun to me and really, really appealing. What position do you play? I play center back. So I'm pretty much like the last defender of the team before the goalkeeper. Okay. Uh, what do you enjoy about playing that position? It's a very stabilizing role, I would say. So I'm... I'm not, you know, doing all the super flashy stuff, scoring a bunch of goals, but it's more so securing the team and making us keep the win. And I find that very fun. Also, just like sort of the tactical parts of the position, I enjoy doing and fulfilling. Um, how have you felt that you have grown as a player over the last just four years? I've definitely just grown as a player by working through adversity and working with different people because the thing with high school teams is every year you are playing with new people as new people come and new people go. So just being able to work with people who I've maybe never played with before and then get that chemistry and get that teamwork going has really, really been a challenge, but I really like uh, competing against that challenge. So I also know you play for like club team or travel team or whatever. Um, how is playing for that or who do you play for and how is playing for that differ from a high school team so i play for the for a houston dynamo traveling team which is one of the better teams in the state but it differs heavily because with a team like this you know we all train together we all play together we've done so for numerous years so i'm very familiar with every person who i'm playing with which kind of gets back to what i was saying is that i'm playing with different people in high school another big thing is that high school ball itself is played very differently which can be it can be different it can be sometimes challenging because you'll like it can be a lot more physical than club soccer sometimes because obviously you're going to be playing, playing against people who are older than you, who are stronger than you, so you encounter that a lot. Also, just doing different play styles and playing with different people really is really different. You have to adapt to that. So so you say it's in Houston. So how often do you have to go to Houston to practice? Uh, back when we were in season, I would commute to Houston three or four times a week for practice and then probably once or twice over the weekend for games. So how did you balance all of that? And I know you're taking IB courses and things like that. How, how did you balance all of that? Balancing it was, was, or is really, really tricky. I would pretty much just have to cram and work where I could or just stay up really late at nights in order to get it done. So it would be like I would get home, have maybe 30 minutes to do work before I would have to leave and drive off to soccer, and then I would get back. And by the time I'd finished eating and showering and everything, I'd maybe be like capable of working in at like 11.30. So I just had to like cram and work where I could and then just like not get much sleep to finish the rest. What are some of the most interesting places you've traveled to play? I've traveled, I don't know if this is interesting, but it's kind of cool because it's far away. I've traveled up to, we've like done a 12-hour drive to Oklahoma to play against teams there. And on a more personal level, I've commuted to college showcases and stuff like that all the way up in the Northeast, such as like Ithaca, places pretty much all around the U.S. So you mentioned colleges. Are you hoping to play soccer uh, uh, in college? I am hoping to play soccer in college. I want to fo- uh, kind of focus on education first and then play soccer like as an additional. But I am hoping that a school that I get into will also have a soccer program for me to play for. What are some of the schools that you're just looking at right now? Schools that I'm really looking at that I would love to play soccer would be a school like UPenn or MIT. So like very high, very hard to get into and very high educational status. But also they do have a soccer team and I'd love to be a part of that. Okay. And it, and if, um, you know, as a last resort, 
Um, hopefully you will be playing with the team, but you know, would you play club soccer or something just to keep playing? Yeah, 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 definitely. My, my love for the game is, or I guess kind of supersedes just wanting to play at the highest level I can. So even if I go to a school that maybe doesn't have a college program for soccer, I'll still do like clubs or just like intramural soccer programs just around the area. What's one of the biggest benefits you think players can get from playing an organized sport like soccer? I mean, there's, there's, there's so many, but like being able to work under pressure and just being able to, cause when you're in the games and stuff, you have a lot of pressure on you. So being able to like adapt to that pressure and work hard and consistently is a big one. The other thing is just adaptability and working with a tight schedule, you know, cause if you're not, if you don't have all the most free time in the world, being able to adapt to that and still get what you need to get done, like finished is very valuable. Okay. And what has been like, what's the most challenging part for you when it comes to playing soccer? The most challenging part is definitely the mentality. Sometimes, you know, if you lose a game or you perform badly individually, it can really get in your head. And that's something that I used to really, really struggle with is if I would screw up once or twice in the game, I would be thinking about it for the rest of the game, which would cause a lot more mistakes on my part. But just kind of having that mental toughness to like just essentially forget about making your mistake and just keep playing is is probably the biggest challenge I faced. So have you seen that that lesson transfer over into the rest of your life? I, I definitely have. I've I don't want to say I've stopped worrying about mistakes, but when a mistake happens, I kind of move on from it. I learn from it, but I move on and I don't dwell on something in the past. Okay. Um, Alex, I appreciate you sitting down and talking to us a little bit and I hope you'll have a great season. Of course. Thank you for having me.